Hey everybody, I'm Ryan. Today, we're going to talk about the adherence of Rukmar in World of Warcraft lore. Now, if I mention anything in the video you want to learn more about, the link to those videos are going to be in the description as I do them. I hope you check those out as well. The king of the High Arakoa, Herak, was viewed by their people as Rukmar, the goddess reborn, because of his godlike feats defeating the Saberon, who were hunting the High Arakoa. This made the Anhari priesthood, who worshipped Rukmar, nervous. Because until now, only they could speak in Rukmar's name. Herak built up the city, Skyreach, and even approached the former glory of the Arakoa. Herak went even further and instituted new laws restricting the authority of the Anhar order, declaring that Arakoa must be guided by their thirst for knowledge and wisdom not fear and superstition. The Anhar responded by kidnapping Terok and his daughter, Lithic, the dead of night, and cast them at the Kahlo. Terok would be warped, shriveled, and turned into an outcast, but Lithic did not survive the pools. Terok would go on to lead the outcasts and eventually succumb to the madness of the void. The next day, the Anhar priests told the people that Rukmar had withdrawn her favor from the king and cursed his bloodline. They renamed their order the Adherents of Rukmar and declared themselves the leaders of the High Arakoa. The Adherents would cling to control of their civilization. Whenever there were dissenters or heretics in their society, the Adherents would cast them into Sethakalo to die or be turned into outcasts, rendered into a cursed, lightless state. These outcasts would be welcomed into the outcast society that grew there at the foot of the spire. These dissenters and heretics were defined liberally as anyone who would threaten the rule of the adherents, such as speaking out against them, against Rukmar, or interacting with dark magic. And the adherents fear and hate the outcasts. Now, the adherents of Rukmar are a fanatical religious organization. Sunwalker Desco even called them a violent isolationist and decadent race. They have a caste system where one's place in society would be determined before they even got their name, and shadow magic is strictly forbidden within the society. While the ancient Arakoa, the Apexes, wielded the light, the adherents used solar nature magic, comparable to druids, and call it the light. The adherents of Rukmar suppressed and twisted their history in order to more easily control their kind. They did not speak about the heroics of Terok, or the true origin of the outcast curse. They teach their people that it was a time of darkness when Terok ruled, committing crimes and horrible acts, that the adherents brought an end to Terok's tyranny and liberated the Arakoa from oppression, and that Rukmar turned her back on Terok. They're also taught that the curse was a manifestation of the fall from Rukmar's grace, but in reality, it was from interacting with the cursed waters at Sethakalo and High Arakoa were taught that the first signs of the curse were lethargy, tardiness, and questioning your elders. And if you did those things too much, you were cast out so you wouldn't infect others. This, of course, was just propaganda, and it was the curse in the pools that actually transformed the Arakoa. Anyone could fall victim, which means they could use it to control their people. And that's why they teach that the first signs of it are disobedience. Young High Arakoa were paired together at birth to watch over each other and report the transgressions to the adherents of Rukmar. If one transgressed, they both would be punished. If one accomplished a great feat, they both would be praised. And they were forbidden from going into the land of the outcasts without the guidance of the elders. And the law of the adherents of Rukmar are enforced by the elite warriors, Blade Talons. And this new Arakoan society had a holiday called Rukmar's Grace when the sun was the highest and the days were long and bright. And it is during this time that all adherents are required to attend ceremonies and perform rites. The adherents were searching for old Apexes technology to use it against the outcasts, claiming that it was the will of Rukmar. They used this salvage technology to create a huge super weapon that fires beams of light, harnessing the power of the sun at the outcast towns below. When the Orcish Horde formed and attempted to conquer Draenor, the Shattered Hand, Burning Blade, and Dragonmaw clans attacked and were incinerated by this new cannon. 
Kargath, the leader of the Shattered Hand, struck a deal with the outcasts. If the outcasts would infiltrate Skyreach and destroy their weapon, the orcs would invade, and the outcasts would be allowed to claim Skyreach. The outcasts did so, sabotaged the weapons, and the orcs attacked. After slaughtering the High Arakoa, the orcs then turned on the outcasts. The High Arakoa that Kargath ended up taking prisoner, he cast into Sethic Hollow, reveling at the sight of them writhing in agony as they turned into outcasts. This horde assault destroyed High Arakoan civilization and the adherents of Rukmar and killed most of the outcasts. The survivors took refuge from the horde in the corners of Terakar Forest. The High Arakoa who had been transformed banded together under a former Skyreach guard, Grizzik. They went to Alkandun because the orcs feared these haunted ruins. In alternate timeline Draenor, the heroes of Azeroth arrive during the adherence of Rukmar's genocide. The champions saved the outcasts from slavery, bound the Eye of Anzu, which reunited the Arakoa with Anzu, stopped Sethic's ritual to dominate Anzu, and thus Anzu killed Seth's spirit. With Anzu's blessing, the outcasts called upon Ka Alu, his consort, to assault the adherents of Rukmar at Skyreach, they killed High Sage Varix, the leader of the adherents, and Rukmar. This led to the formation of the Order of the Awakened, of both Cursed and High Arakoa, and bringing an end to the adherents in its alternate timeline. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned us a little bit about the adherence of Rukmar in World of Warcraft. If you did, you should check me out on other platforms, on Twitter, on Instagram, join the community on Discord, and especially join us on Twitch. We have a lot of fun. Those links are above me and in the description. Now, open your window and listen to those evil birds chirp. They're probably adherents. See you next time. Bye-bye.